Are you struggling to keep up with your emails? In this video, I'll show you how you can leverage Copilot in Outlook to boost your communication and also save you hours of work each week. So let's jump over the computer and let's get started. Okay, so here I'm using Outlook on the web. Now to activate the Copilot, open an email as you would normally by clicking on the new email here. Now you'll notice that there's a Copilot icon here. If we click on the Copilot button here, you will notice that you have two options. So the first option is to draft with Copilot and the second option is coaching by Copilot. Now first off, let's have a look at draft with Copilot. So if we click on the button here, so here you need to provide Copilot with a bit of information in terms of what you want it to say. Now the more specific you are in terms of your prompt, the better the outcome in terms of meeting your expectations. Okay, so let's give it a try and now I'm just gonna type in my prompt. Now the prompt that I've just typed in is write an email to the team asking them to participate in an online survey. Then once you've typed in your prompt, hit generate. Now the output will vary given that I wasn't specific in terms of the survey type, the time commitment, the purpose or the due date. So let's have a look here. And here you can see Copilot has drafted me an email. However, it's quite generic given that I didn't actually provide it with information that was relevant to my requests. So let's discard this email by clicking on the button here and let's start again. So this time I'm going to be more specific in terms of my requests. So I've written here, write an email to the team asking them to participate in a five minute survey about today's manual handling training session. Include a section to add a link to the online survey. Let the team know that the feedback will be used to improve future training sessions and ask that they complete the survey by close of business on Friday the 1st of November. And now let's hit generate. And as you can see, Copilot has drafted me a new email and it's included the information that I included as part of my prompt. Now, depending on what changes you want to make, you can click on the edit prompt here. And here you can make it longer, you can make it shorter, you can make it sound more formal or casual, depending upon your preference. In the box here, you can also type in your prompt to instruct Copilot to make some modifications. So in this example, I've just typed in, change the due date to the 8th of November and change the estimated completion time to 10 minutes. So let's hit generate. So here you can see Copilot has changed the due date to the 8th of November. It's also changed the completion time from five minutes to 10 minutes that you can see here. So from here, there are a couple of things that you can do. So you can decide to keep it by clicking on the keep it button here. You can discard it and start again, or you can select the retry button. So let's have a look to see what this might look like. So I'll just select retry here. And here you can see Copilot has redrafted a new email. Now at any time you can go back through the previous versions. So if I click on the arrow button here, you can scroll through multiple versions that's been created by Copilot. Okay, so let's just select keep it. And then Copilot will automatically embed your text into your email. Now you can make some minor changes if you need to. So let's just make a couple tweaks. And here you can add in the link to your survey. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how you can convert a Word survey to an online survey using Microsoft Forms, I'll put a link to a video here for you to check out. Okay, so now that I've sent out the email to the team, it looks like I've just got a reply from a team member letting me know they've got issues accessing the online survey. What you'll notice is that each time you open up your email, you'll see this summary by Copilot button. So if we click on the button here, you can see here that Copilot has summarized the email threads. So rather than reading through the email threads, you can use this feature to catch up on the latest discussion, which will save you hours of time each week. Now, when you reply to an email, you will notice at the bottom here, Copilot will give you three options to select from to help draft your email, or you can select the custom button here. So in this example, I'm going to ask Copilot to help me draft an email to let the user know that I've checked the settings and made some changes to give all users access to the online survey. 
So I've also made a note here to apologize for the error and also to ask the user to reach out if they've got any questions. So I'll just hit generate. And here you can see Copilot has drafted me an email that I could use. Alternatively, I can click on the edit prompts here and edit the prompts, or I can type in additional prompts to make some further edits. So let's just hit keep it for the time being. And here you can see Copilot has embedded the text into an email and you can hit the send button to send the email as you would normally send the email. So the next feature I want to look at is the coaching by Copilot. So if we click on the button here, select coaching by Copilot. So as you can see here, you need to have at least 100 characters to be able to utilize this feature. Alternatively, you can free text your email as you would normally if it's under 100 characters. Now, if you have a short message you want to send out, my suggestion is for you to freestyle it as you would today, or you can use the draft with Copilot to draft up your short message. Okay, so next we're going to try coaching with Copilot. So I'm just going to type in my email as I would normally. Now to utilize the coaching feature, click on the Copilot icon and then click on Coaching by Copilot. And here Copilot has given me some coaching around the tone, the reader sentiment, as well as the clarity. Now you can read more information over here on your right hand side. So in this example, it's noted that the email is polite and professional, which is important for maintaining good communication. However, it could be more engaging to capture the reader's attention as well as interests. And it's also offered me some suggestions here. Now, even though Copilot has provided me with some great suggestions that you can see here, you are unable to actually accept any of these changes. However, you can copy and paste the text into the body of your email. Are you using Copilot in Outlook? Let me know if you've got any tips below. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how you can leverage Copilot in Microsoft Forms, I'll put a link to a video here and I'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,